Hey, what's up? It's DJ. Welcome back to Elm Creek, episode number 17 here at Farming Simulator 22. Today, we're going to be using a new direct drill seeder to plant tons of soybeans so we can get our double crop on. We're also going to be building a new spinnery or maybe even two of them to help out with the wool production and clothing production. It's going to be a fun one. If you like videos like this, just want to see more Farm Sim 22 in general, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. All that out of the way, hey, let's jump right in. So we are jumping in right away. We got a bunch of stuff to do. Also, you may notice it's a little bit jittery. You could kind of ignore that for now. This is the first time that I'm playing since the new update released. So we've got a new update for Farming Simulator 22. If you don't know this, make sure you go download it so that you've got it. I am still playing on the modified version of the map that I did for the American version of the map, and everything's doing just fine. My seasons are working just fine. Everything's working okay. The only thing that I've seen that's maybe a little bit confusing or irritating is, well, it's right here. Yeah, right here. Rocks. Uh, I had this cleared with rocks. I don't have rocks anywhere. And yet, here they are. So, uh, I can't pick them up. I don't know what's going on. Uh, it's there's probably something that's happened. It's like, oh, that's uh, that's not supposed to be a field right there. He created fields. Let's put some rocks there just so he knows where the field boundary is, and that's what I feel like happened. So it is what it is. Also, I'm doing a really bad job of fertilizing this field. I'll go back through and kick the spots that I missed. Nonetheless, today's gonna be fun. We really need to get this second spinnery made. Uh, I have been going through, and we've barely been using any wool trying to get uh, stuff made for clothing. And I want to speed that production up a little bit. I don't know how many we can make. I don't know how many we can place down, but I think maybe placing down two more might help things out just a little bit. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. A couple other things. We've got pallets down here. We need to do a quick double check and uh, find out when those need to be sold because I do know that we've got a ton of pallets ready to be sold and we're going to prepare ourselves for even more. We got a lot going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all of these fields fertilized and then they will be ready to take some soybeans. That was nice and easy and a lot of fun. And now we get to use something a little bit different. So this is a cedar that I have neglected probably for like two games now, maybe three. I don't know how long the Solitaire 12 has been in the game, but what I will say is that beforehand, let me jump on this. Beforehand, this was not direct drill. Now, it is because there's a new mod pack that just came out. If we go in, we can go into our cedars right here, and then we keep going across, and you can see a lot of extra stuff added to the top. You see down the bottom, seeding options, which is a mod. This is the one that I'm using right here. The reason I'm using this versus anything else, check this out. It weighs like almost half what the K brand uh, Espro does. It weighs literally half of what the Amazon does. And it'll get, well, go a little bit slower to be fair. But it requires less horsepower as well. So this, I think, is a win all around. Less horsepower, holds a bunch of seed, will direct drill. I think this is the one to go for. I'm pretty excited about this as well. So let's unfold it in 12 meters. I mean, that's for most fields, that's gonna be plenty. I know I'm one to talk, but still, I think that's gonna be plenty. So let's line it up. And then it's just gonna be a bunch of soybean planting. Please drop down. Oh, I dropped down my front weight, didn't I? Yeah, by the way, I lost my other front weight. I have no idea where it is. Turn it on, rock and roll. Yeah, all right. So. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to take our John Deere and put that on the larger field over there just so we can get a few extra things done quicker. Uh, that's why I have, I guess now what, five, six, five seeders, I think. <laughs> that's too many, which is the perfect amount for me. So let's get all of this done. Uh, I may bring you guys back along whenever we hire new ones on different fields because well, we got plenty of them to hire, don't we? Real quick, before we get too in depth, we need to work on some stuff. So, um, you can see my condition is not great. And it's gonna cost me $7,100 to repair. Goodness gracious. All right, we'll go ahead and do that up. <laughs> it just fell off, that's my achievement. Uh, I did, uh, I have switched over to the Steam version, at least right now. It was taking too long to update FarmSim the way that they had it set up. And 
I just did not have the time to sit and wait. So, yeah, did like that. So let's just go around and I'm just going to go ahead and repair everything, especially right now that it's all like really close to the end of the year. This one, yeah, I'm going to have to repair that as well. Everything needs to get repaired. I'm also using, I think it's like the mobile workshop or something like that tool. I can't remember exactly what mod it is, but you go around, you just hit the letter N, uh, as in Kentucky Fried Chicken doesn't have the letter N in it. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Good, cool. All right, I'm gonna go around to these. If there's one that's like exorbitantly high, I'll let you know. But uh, so far, so good. I think the, I think that bad boy over there is gonna be the worst. Next cedar out, this one being the Vetterstad. And this is going to be one of the three that I'm gonna run. The fields are just way too small to run really any more than about three, especially the ones that we're gonna run. Cause I'm gonna have to be running back and forth babysitting them constantly and i really really don't want to have to do that that looks cool i love going through these with the direct drill stuff like that and it's also nice not have to come through and fertilize lime roll rock pick cultivate i don't know <laughs> doing all those things at once that gets a little bit annoying pretty quickly so there's that i need the john deere this is going to be the last one on our list today i love this they did such a good job. Also, Sid Modding working on some John Deere's. Yeah, he's gonna be bringing his over. I don't know if he's gonna be using these models or not because all of the models that he made are in the game now. So the 9RX, <coughs> sorry, not the 9RX, the 9R uh, or 8R, 8RX, 8RT, and the 7R all together. Also, the uh, F12 mod, I controlled it with, <laughs> I can control it with my controller now. It's awesome, yeah. All right, so we can direct drill with some soybeans here. Looks like that bad boy right there is almost done, or biz done rather, at least with that field. This is gonna go on the big field and rock and roll. So with this one, I'm actually gonna run a headland at least around the top and on the side. That way, whenever the workers are coming through, they don't accidentally go into someone else's field, which by the way, I have been looking at that it doesn't seem like they go in other people's fields, which is kind of nice. And if they do, well, they don't do anything. So that's kind of nice. Don't worry about your, your guy doing anything like that. If it is with fertilizer, though, it's still going to be using fertilizer, even if it gets close. If it's not on your field and it's still going, well, it's still using it. So be ready for that. This little corner right here, it's a little bit too sharp to take on its own. So I'll swing this around. Nice. All right. So I'll go down. I'll head to the right and then hire a worker coming back up the other way. Back to the fun and the action. So we have already got, I think two fields done. We just left our John Deere on the big field. And now I'm back over here hitting the last field here that I need to do. We've only got one more field after this and then we're actually done, which is a little bit shocking because I don't feel like I've done anything yet. After this, we are gonna run around, check on our productions. However, if I remember correctly, there are none there. I've also gotten word from Giants that the pallets have been increased in capacity. It's making me speechless. I need to quit recording these. It's 6 a.m. in the morning. Nonetheless, we're going to go around. We'll take a look at those. And then we're going to build that spinnery or spinnery. Well, here's the last square, at least as of this field. And we're done. Kaboom, baby. Yeah. Uh, we will be coming back through doing soybeans on the far end field down there. That is currently wheat right now. Uh, right here, field 51. It's almost ready. I think it's going to be ready for harvest tomorrow. It's just going to take a little bit of time. That's all. So wheat is definitely taking its time. As you know, wheat is like that anyway. So there's really nothing out of the ordinary there. Also, if you haven't seen my crop calendar, this is my crop calendar right here. So you got all kinds of goodies. This is also the last day to plant uh, soybeans and corn. So we got in just in time all right so i'm gonna go ahead and put a couple of these things away and we'll kind of get ready for the cotton because i'm gonna need to move a couple cotton bales and that is going to mean that i need to actually move some cotton bales Oy. so here's the plan we're going to take the land that is around the spinnery that we've got now we're going to look at that see if it's a good place to build if it is awesome if not, <laughs> if it's not a good place to build, 
then I think we're going to build them maybe up at the other farm that we've got up here at the top right hand corner of the map. Can we make it? Can we make it? Can we make it? Can we make it? Go, 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 go. Yes. Got him. So the field that we're in right now, this would be where we build the new set. Now, I'm not sure if I like that area or not. I may want to kind of put them back into the put them back into the woods a little bit. We've still got plenty of bells here. <clears throat> Come on, DJ, get it together. It's just bells, man. You got this. You got this. Uh, let's see. This is a, a good one. We'll go ahead and chunk that over there. Get that filled back up. Let's see. There we go. Ba Boom. The only problem is cotton. Only 45,000 liters. A little bit annoying. It is what it is. Let's pick these up because we don't need to let them go anymore. Oh, I got an idea. So, obviously, you guys have seen that I can throw these. This will hold three bells. So, let's get... Let's see. This one's not too full. I want to get some bells that are actually, like, full bells. That's not a full bell. You can see at the bottom right-hand corner. Ooh, this one's a full bell. 10,000 liters. Throw it. Come Ah, oh, come on. No! Stop! I want to pick it up and throw it. Come on. It worked! All right! That's all I wanted to do. Uh, man, none of these are full pails. That's a little stinky. That is what it is. All right. Wait for it to come back down. There it is. Throw it! Come on! Ah! There we go. All right. This did not work at all. All right. So that one's... Uh-oh. Um... 4,000, 3,000, 4,000. All right, well, I guess that's going to have to be it right here. Chunk. Or not. Really? Used to, you could just throw stuff, and now it's... Really? You don't want it? Picky, picky, picky. You know what? All right, whatever. Get, just... Uh-oh. Oh, I broke it. Oh, oh, I can't. I can't get it in my tractor. No! We're good. I only freaked out for like 10 seconds, but that's you know, totally normal, right? Yeah, totally normal indeed. Uh, at this rate, I think maybe only building one spinnery is going to be useful for us. We don't need to build two because, well, we just don't have enough bells left. But it is taking a while. It took like, not a year, but way, way too long just to go from, I think it was like, 11 bells down to five so yeah i'm thinking now instead of on the left maybe here on the right flattening out some of this area and uh doing it that way or maybe raising it up who knows i think flattening it's probably the best thing we should save the game before we do anything because it's about to go down oh yeah build mode baby let's do it landscaping uh, we want to level out some area. Uh, that'll be good. And I'm going to want to go for a nice square as well. Let's start with a smaller square. Something like this. Uh, maybe about midway up. There we go. That will do. Perfect. Okay, cool, 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 cool. And then we'll go in and we'll make that a little bit bigger. So that we can get this done faster. Okay. Hey, hey, it's it's working, it's working. It is raising up some areas, it's lowering other areas, and we would expect that totally, totally fine, totally normal. This is uh, was a lot of fun. I love doing stuff like this. It does take a hot minute, as you can see. Uh, there's no, like, speed it up kind of thing. Uh, I'm trying to say, change brush strength. Oh, that's new. Yup. Brush strength engage i don't remember seeing that at least before this past update but i guess now they've added that back hey that's awesome okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and go through and flatten this out we'll make a nice wall on the back side right here as you can see and we'll see you when all this is completed
Not bad, huh? Not bad at all. I did mess up with the road here a little bit. I'm just gonna leave it because I just don't care. Especially looking from the bottom, you can't see. And looking from the top, it doesn't matter. So who cares, really? But we got another placeable area up here. This is going to be great. So let's, uh, here we go. Uh, save the game, definitely, before we mess up anything else. Now, let's go into productions. Let's find ourselves another spinnery. I know we've got some in here. Grain mill. Spinnery! Hey oh, that's what I'm talking about. Do we have a second spinnery? Or is that the only one? I think that might be the only one. Bakery, carpentry, dairy, spinnery. Okay, we do have another one. We've got the same one that we've got here on the map. So let's place one of these down as I think it'll look a little bit better overall with the uh, design of the map. So maybe that way, maybe to the side. I think round to the back, this will be perfect. 60 grand, this is not gonna be bad at all. Also, there's a new feature. You can see toggle free mode. So it's off right now. If we do this, it says placing objects in free mode can cause issues with the functionality of the objects or vehicles, but allows for more freedom of placement. It is your responsibility to flatten the terrain. Use this at your own risk. One of the cool things about this is it allows you to place stuff down anywhere. It's kind of like a Place Anywhere mod. You could put it here if you really wanted to. Not a good idea, but you can. I'm going to put this right here because I think this is going to be a great spot for it. ka -ching. Yeah! Kaboom, baby! Bam! Uh. Don't know what any of those words were, but I like it! It's good. It's very good. Yeah! Cool! All right, let's uh, rock and roll with this. And let's get these unloaded. I think it will unload them straight back. And I believe this will take all of them as well. So this might make things a little bit easier. Let's back it up and let's make it happen. Hit unload. Yep. Good things happening. Load it back. Back it up. And they should disappear after about a second or so. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And there we go. Take an eye on this, and we've got 22,000 liters done. If we make our way around to here, just like so, you can see we are storing right now. I don't want to store. I want to distribute. I know it's just sending it across the way. Don't care. So that's that. Uh, let's go around. Let's grab a couple more bells just in case. Got three more. Before I do these, I want to place down some fencing. Uh, I think the fences will look good. Plus, we can bring them all the way down to about right here and look beautiful. So let's go into our build mode real quick. This is another thing I haven't really done a whole lot is fencing. So let's go to decorations. We are in fences, which is nice. And we just need to find ones that look good and that work. I think running a white fence would be best here. The only thing is the white fence, I don't think it's gonna work great with like what we've got going on up here. I wonder if we can demolish that. No, we can't. Okay, so we've got some, I think it looks like white metal fencing maybe, something right there. Here we go, we'll uh, go through here, please. Um, well, I broke it, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> fence gate and gate all right so i think about right here ish cool collides with another object your face collides with another object get out of here all right this will do us fine so we'll we'll do a little bit here and there just to make it look nice coming down through here yup yup this i'll tell you what I love the new fence tool. This makes life so much easier. There we go. So there's that. And then we will come around here and do the exact same thing on the other side. And this will give us, uh, you know, what seems to be a, you know, hey, go this way, bud. Hey, follow me. That makes sense. I'm talking to myself at this point. I feel like I'm talking to myself at this point. I'm just going to finish this up. But this is what, you know, this is. Make sure you, you know, click every once in a while because it's just going to go in a straight line. Oh no, no it doesn't. Here we go, okay, yeah, check this out. Boom, baby. Now we got some nice fences. ka -chow. Got me a nice thumbnail. Let's go ahead and dump the rest of these. We should take them. These are not very big, so this should be perfectly fine. Here we go, we'll take a look and I'll do it with you guys so you know 
when I know. There goes one. And two. And three. Perfect. We can actually go ahead and get rid of this as well. Let's go into leased items. Oh yeah, you're probably seeing some uh, TLX stuff in there, ain't ya? Yeah, you are. Because we got it right here, but we're not using it today. Their bell auto loads, I love them. We also might use that tomorrow. Hey, speaking of tomorrow, I've done everything I need to do for today. So let's go to bed and I'll see you in August. Well, we made it to August, but unfortunately that is going to be it for today. That's all we got time for. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you drop a like, get subscribed if you're new, join the GoHam fam, make sure your notification bells are on as well, so you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. I got more planned for you. This is only episode number 17. We got more to come. Uh, hit us up, No Man's Land is out. So if you want to play No Man's Land, check that out on the Mod Hub. Otherwise, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.